Hi, Tim Hartman here, and today we're going to be talking about the Behringer CT100 Cable Tester. So here we have Behringer CT100 as their professional 6-in-1 cable tester. And it does a lot of different cable types. So you might be able to see it does XLR, uh, TS, and TRS. On the end here, uh, you can see that it does the 8th inch stereo or 8th inch mono cables if you have a small 8th inch uh, cable that you're using. On the other side, um, RCA, uh, 3 pin MIDI. It does not test the 5 pin MIDI. And then uh, there's a TT in and out. You can do stereo TT patch or uh, mono TT patch. Um, and if you're not sure what it is, uh, then don't worry. You're not going to need that one. So on the front of the unit here, there are two modes. There's a test tone mode and there is a cable tester mode. So to start off, we're just going to try out the cable tester mode. Okay, now we have our cables plugged in. So let's flip the switch up to cable tester mode. Now, right away, um, there a lot of lights are going to light up here. So <laughs> it's good to check out what they all mean. So as you look at the pin output input here, output input, you'll see that pin one lines up with pin one of the, of the output and input pin 2, pin 3. So you should see it coming right across there. Now, on the left, you'll see this row of lights that are labeled intermittent. This is a really cool feature of this cable tester because one of the problems you have a lot of times with XLR cables is that the cable is sometimes connected, sometimes not because something's loose internally. And then when you plug it in like this, you may not really know what's going on. So if you press the reset button, that'll clear off the intermittent lights. The intermittent lights have lit up because we just plugged a cable into it. And they always pretty much do that. So let's see if we can't um, wiggle our cable here and get one of those intermittent lights to light up. There's one. So you see, we pulled the cable out enough that um, one of the pins isn't connected anymore. So if you had a loose um, connection in your cable, if you wiggled the cable around um, and you got an intermittent light, that would know that would let you know it's a probably good time to take that cable apart and see if you can fix that connector. Or maybe it's just time for a new cable if you're not the soldering type. So that's a very handy feature to have in a cable tester. Uh, next, we're going to look at the test tone feature. Notice that there are three different uh, levels for the test tone. Negative 50, which is a mic level, uh, minus 10 dBV, and plus 4 dBU. Now, the difference between minus 10 and minus 4 is that the minus 10 is a consumer line level output, and you're going to find the plus 4 line level on more professional gear that has XLR inputs and outputs. All right, so let's try out our tone generator. We just flip our switch up to test tone. Woo! And that's a plenty loud signal. So we're not going to try up at the line levels. <laughs> but we will do this, if you can still hear me. If we press the reset button, we'll get the lower test tone. Woo! My ears. So that's a really good way for you to figure out if you have a bad connection between your platform and your mixer, for example. You can plug this cable tester into the mic jack on your stage, and then you can turn it on, and then you can gently bring up the volume on that channel and see if you have a good solid uh, connection, a good solid tone there. Or if you have nothing, then maybe you have a problem with the wiring uh, between your mixing console and the platform. So this has several other neat features. Um, and so we'll take a look at um, the eighth inch stereo. Okay, we have the eighth inch stereo here. That goes on this side port. We have an input and an output. So let's plug that guy in. 
So there we go. We've got our cable put in there. You might use this as a computer cable or that sort of thing. So let's flip it up to cable tester. And we'll reset there. And you can see that everything is as it should be there. You've got all uh, three pins lined up. Now notice here that for TRS or mini TRS, like the eighth inch stereo, um, you won't be looking at the pin numbers, but you're looking at ring, tip, and sleeve, and then sleeve, tip, and ring. So on a TRS connector, as you may know, tip, ring, sleeve are the three conductors on that connector. So as you can see, sleeves line up with sleeve, tips line up with tips, rings line up with rings. And um, if we wiggle that, we see we don't have any bad connections there. There's no intermittent lights. So that should be a good cable electrically. You shouldn't have any issues with it. This unit does several different things that we're not going to test here, but it does tell you um, if you have phantom power. So if you put it in test tone mode and you plug the into an input uh, and then the output from a mixer board or whatever, plug that in and then you'll tell you if the phantom power is on pin two or pin three, the tip or ring, if, um, if it's a balanced TRS coming out of there. So that's also helpful. And some older mic cables have a grounded shield. You may have seen that light on. And that just means that the ground wire is connected to the physical shell of the XLR connector. So not only is it connected to the wire internally, but it's connected to the shell. So that's fine. You shouldn't have any troubles with that. But if that is the case, you'll get this light uh, that will light up here. I hope that was a helpful overview of the Behringer CT100. Maybe that's the right piece of gear for you, so check it out. Thanks for watching.